Hey, what's up? Let me show you how I built this drop down sub navigation with just HTML and CSS. It's pretty simple. So, first things first, let's hop into the HTML. In here, we'll just create a unordered list with the class of menu. Inside of here, we'll have one list item. And inside our list item, we'll write a paragraph tag that says treehouse tech degrees. And then we'll also add in an image, and this is going to be our down arrow icon. Next, in the same list item, we're going to create our unordered list with the class of submenu. And inside of here, we'll just have our five list items that hold the names of our tech degrees that we offer. And that's all the HTML that we'll need. So now let's hop into the CSS. You can see I have some basic styles in here already. We have a font, some browser reset, and some basic body stylings. But let's get started with our actual menu. Let's write a rule for our menu and in here, we're going to give it a margin top of 200 pixels. And this is just so it's not at the very top of our browser. After that, we'll give it a width of 100%, but we'll give it a max width of 300 pixels. We'll give everything a dark color, and then we'll position this relative because our sub menu would need to be positioned absolute relative to its parent, which is this menu. And of course, we'll set the cursor to pointer. Next, let's target the list items inside of our menu. We'll give them a display of flex, and we'll justify the content space between. And then we'll align the item center, and lastly, we'll add in a little bit of padding. This might look like we kind of messed things up, but just remember that our sub menu is supposed to be hidden by default. So right now it's still visible and it's kind of getting in the way. So let's target that now. We'll write a rule for our sub menu. We'll start off by giving it an opacity of zero since we want to hide this, but I'm going to go back and set this to 0.5. And this is just so that we can kind of see what we're doing until we're ready to hide it later. So now that we have the opacity set, let's set the pointer events to none. If you're unfamiliar with this, it basically just doesn't allow the user to interact with that element. We'll set the position absolute. And now you can see it's kind of in the center of the page. So we'll give the top property a 50% value and we'll give the left property a zero value. Now you can kind of see our drop down menu is underneath our main menu. We'll give it a dark background color. We'll also give it a little bit of border radius and I'll give it one rim of padding. We'll also want this to transition in. So we'll do a transition all 0.3 seconds ease. Now the reason we can't see our list items in here is because it's the same color as our background color. So let's target the sub menus list items and we'll start it off by giving it a color of white. Next, we'll add in one rim of padding and then we'll also add in 0.5 rim of border radius. We'll set the cursor to pointer for each of these list items. And then we'll also want to transition the background color 0.2 seconds ease. Speaking of background colors, let's actually set those up now. I'm gonna target each of these list items individually since they're each gonna have their own background color. So I'll create a rule that targets the first submenu list item, and then I'll copy this down a few times and then change it for each one of the list items. And then we'll hop back into the very first one and we're gonna give this one a background color of green. Next, for the full stack JavaScript list item, we're gonna give it a darker blue color. And then after that, for our Python development list item, we're gonna give it a bit of a teal color. Next up is data analysis. We'll give it a pink color. And lastly, our UX design tech degree, and we're gonna give that one a purple color. Now we'll wanna target our arrow, and this arrow is supposed to rotate whenever we hover over our menu. So let's target that image, and we're just gonna give it a transition property with the value of transform 0.2 seconds ease. And we also want to make it a little bit smaller, so I'll set the width to 1.1 rim. Now all we did was give it a transition, so on hover, we're gonna to wanna to rotate it. So let's set up a rule for our image on hover and we'll just want to transform and rotate 180 degrees. And now you see if we hover over our menu, the arrow rotates. Also, I just realized these colors for the list item should only be on hover. So let's add a hover rule to each one of these list items. Now you won't see any of this yet because our pointer events are still turned off. But if we come up here and we comment out this CSS rule, you can go over and hover and you'll see that we have those background colors as we hover. So let's uncomment that CSS rule. And now let's target our sub menu when we hover our menu. We'll just want to take the top property that's set at 50% and change it to 100%. We'll bring the opacity back up to one and pointer events to all. And now you see our menu looks the way it should when we hover. So let's go and set our initial opacity back to zero. And there you go. We have a fully functioning drop-down menu 
that I think looks pretty cool with just HTML and CSS. But if you want the full code, check out the link in the description for the repo. Or if you want to come hang out with us in Discord, I can give you the code there too. I'll put the link to the Discord in the description as well as right here on the screens. Like and follow for more Trios tips. See ya.